Okay. Welcome back, everyone. Hey, 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 hey. Hey? Hey. Hey, all. All right, anyways. Who is this? Back to the Gonta. Room. Hey, Gonta. Where were you? What happened? Hey, did something happen? Gonta see Rantaro walk by. His face looks scary. Um, Gonta yeah. really hate that guy. Yeah, about that. Roma and Rantaro get into a fight. You can do that. For fight? Where? Gonta, go stop them. No. no, it's fine now. So you don't need to worry about it. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Don't to not where he needed most. No. Don't worry about it, big guy. If Anki hadn't told me, I wouldn't have known about either. Uh, okay. That's right. Anyway, Kiyo, Kiyo and Anki are in the dining hall today. How about you eat breakfast with them? Oh, Gonta really? See. Then Gonta also go to dining hall. Alright, thank you, Gonta. Oh, I wouldn't have breakfast with Gonta. Dude, that, that's a new podcast coming out. Breakfast with Gonta. <laughs> oh god, no. Good morning, Ka Good morning, Kaede. Um, morning. Hey. Hey, so earlier I saw Shuichi. Huh? What? Um, um I saw Shuichi come out of News Research Lab. Yeah. Oh, you don't say. Uh, I wonder what he was doing in there so early in the morning. Like I thought. I don't think that anything happened, but in a life or death situation like this. Do you You'd expect people to suddenly develop feelings for each other, right? Um, I don't think so. Uh... Yeah, you're right. Now's not the time for that. The time limit's up tonight anyway. <sighs> After going through so much, it's strange, but I feel like I've come to accept it. <sighs> uh, how should I spend the last day of my life? I don't have any manga. Huh? So, oh, okay. Just... Alright, she just flipped out of existence. That's wow. how she spent the last day of her life. That's how she spent the last few seconds. Alright, so. Is it downstairs? It was the classroom by the stairs. Okay. I thought it was that, but he wasn't here, so. I thought he'd just be waiting outside for me. Alright, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think we'd actually have to go in. Why not? I don't know. Shuichi. Sorry I'm late, Shuichi. No. Ah, it's alright. I just got here, too. How did it go? Did Mew finish the cameras? That's... She must have been working all night. She was even she was even too tired to make fun of me. Anyway, here's the result. Two cameras that will take a picture when the sensors detect movement. Remember. And this one will take a picture and trigger the receiver. Of course, they're turned off right now, so they aren't taking any pictures. Since they're disposable cameras, we'll have to manually wind the film, right? No. Yes, Mew thought of that. She told me that the cameras will wind automatically. I see. Oh, so once they're set up, they'll take pictures every time the sensor is triggered? Okay. She also modified them so that they'll be completely silent to not attract attention. I see. They're completely silent. This is perfect. Wow. It needs to be. These are absolutely essential to our plan. Uh. And do these cameras have flashes? That's... Yeah, they still have flashes on them, but I switched them off. They shouldn't be a problem. But... But we'll need to make sure that they don't get turned on by accident and alert the mastermind. Yeah, I'll be careful. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed, though. Mew, Mew modified them to our specifications. Yeah. All right, I'll tell you a little bit about this classroom before we set up in the library. Tell me about this classroom? Is that all right? Yes, I think this is the perfect place to keep watch after we set up the cameras. Um, That's fine, but why this classroom? That's true. Because we can see anyone who goes down to the basement with the door open a little. You can see the staircase, right? Oh, yeah, you're right. We can keep a lookout for anyone who goes down to the basement. Hey. There's one more reason I chose this specific classroom. One more reason. Oh, me. There's a blackboard. Punch the chairs. This doesn't seem like the other reason. It doesn't. Hell yeah. Um, is it the barbed wire so we can tangle them? <laughs> this doesn't seem the like other the other door. The door out in the back. What? The yellow door. Isn't that the portal we came in? Oh, uh, okay. So that's just the first reason. Uh, the podium to hide? Uh, maybe the mon- no, not the monitor. I never really think. Oh, air vent. Oh, okay. Is this a vent? That's... It's connected to the library in the basement. You'll recognize the smell immediately. 
the smell. After Sweetie told me that, I leaned in closer to the vent. Oh, it smells like musty old books. Does this lead to the library? Yeah, just like I said. It's probably a vent to control the humidity in the library. Remember. The duct we noticed in the basement hallway, it leads here. I see. But a vent in the classroom? That's an odd design choice for a school. And again, everything about the school is odd. Uh, um... This vent is the other reason I chose the specific classroom to keep watch. This vent is just big enough for someone to be able to fit, so we should watch this carefully, too. I don't think I could fit through there. Well, maybe I could, but it'd be tough. Yeah. Well, I guess this is a perfect spot to keep a lookout. Anyway, it's time. We should set up the cameras now. It's fallen to start our plan in motion. I'm getting nervous. Yeah, my heart is racing. Okay, buddy. We go down the air vent, right? <laughs> There's a vent that connects to the library here. I didn't even know it was that. Neither did we. Yeah, I mean, it was hidden. Pretty well. That's why you need to punch more shit. Alright. But then it gets really dirty and I feel bad. Oh god, there it goes. Can you just heart. immediately set it back up? What? <laughs> With like left bumper or something? Yeah, yeah I, I can do that. But still. I don't know, I don't feel like spending time just hitting random things. Just take I hit the globe. Yeah, I, I was thinking that myself. <laughs> hey. So where do you want to place the cameras? You're right. Let's aim the one linked to the receiver at the moving bookcase. If we place the security sensor on the bookcase itself when it opens, the receiver will let us know. Mm -hmm. And we place the camera to face the moving bookcase. Okay. Yes, the camera should capture the exact moment the mastermind moves the bookcase. Mm. Then where are we putting the other two sensors? Remember. Well, there are two entrances to the library. The front entrance near the stairs and the rear entrance to the hallway. Let's aim one at each entrance. That way we'll have pictures of everyone who enters the library. Huh? But how about over there? Um. Think you say a person could fit through that the vent that connects to the classroom? Hey. Wait, can we make sure a person could actually fit through there through it? I think it'll be fine since we're keeping a watch in the classroom. But we should investigate it in a little we should investigate it a little more just in case. But we can't reach that high. Hmm. We need someone to stand on. I can't hit uh, okay, Whatever. Bitch. Let's, let's clean this place up, Suiki. It's you said it makes everything dirtier. We're making it cleaner. Yeah. Alright, so do I have to talk to you about Goonta? Hey. By the way, Kaede, what happened with the fight in the dining hall? Is everything okay? It wasn't really a fight. Rima had kissed kiss that we kill him. Huh? Kill him? You know? No one agreed to it, of course. And then Rantaro suddenly said he'd end the game. No. End the game? Does Rantaro even know how to do that? No. I don't think so. He probably just said that to stop Ryoma. Anyway, we don't have time to worry about that. The plan is more important right now. Yeah. yeah. Yes, definitely. Go to the ladder. Oh, yeah, good call. I completely forgot about it, Ed. Oh, I can probably use this ladder instead of Gunta. I position allow below the bat and climbed up. Don't look! Oh. Now that I'm up here, this is pretty high. It's kind of scary. Do you want to switch? Nah, I'm fine. By the way, can you see my, um, delicates? Uh, sorry. Sorry, huh? So you did see them. Oh, whatever. You can't unsee them. Anyway, this is the vent. Alright. All right. <laughs> yeah, good on you, lady. There's a grate covering the vent, so I don't think anyone can go through. Can I take the grate off? Uh, there we go. Oh, the grate came off pretty easily. Did you it's a small ass vent. Yeah. Um, no, I didn't break it. I saw a look on his face. He probably thinks I'm a klutz. <laughs> I pushed the grate into the duct. Then I looked at my body and looked inside. So look? Could a person fit in there? Hmm, it would be pretty difficult, but you might be able to call through. I can't really get to the vent with all these books in the way, though. Well, we'll be able to see the entrance to the vent in the classroom, so that should be okay, right? Just in case, I'll stack more books around the vent so no one can get through. With that, I began to arrange the books around the vent. After I finished stacking the books, I climbed down the ladder. 
Are you okay? Okay, Eddie. What's wrong? Yeah. This will work. This will, this will definitely work. Huh? Got it. I think this plan might actually protect everyone. Yeah, definitely will. The plan is perfectly composed like Hyokun's ballets. You know? I actually really like complicated contractions, like Rude Goldberg machines and stuff. So I'm positive this will work. The setup is perfect. Uh, um... Y you really think so? Of course. We'll definitely catch the Mazma, and then we'll all escape. Oh, right. So let's hurry and set up the cameras. Then... Yeah, so I think it would be a good idea to set up the cameras between the books so that... Uh... Oh, hold on. I had an idea where... Our... While I was on top of the bookcase, we would place a camera up there. I'm sure the master might want to notice it. But... Uh, but with all the books stacked on top, I don't know if there's room for the camera. You know? I'll test it out while you prepare the sensor on the bookcase. I'll organize the books on top of the bookcase and see if I can make room for a camera. Right? That way, we won't waste any time, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Oh, right. All right, then let's do it. I climbed the ladder and looked at the top of the bookcase. There are way, there are way more books here than I expected. The top of the bookcase is covered and to end, is covered end to end with cluttered stacks of oh, books. Right. This is nothing. As I moved the ladder, I reorganized the books bit by bit. Jeez, there are too many books. It might be too hard to set up a camera here. I knew it. Hmm, I thought so. No. Wait, I just gonna try a little harder. Hey. Kaede, I know you don't like to admit defeat, but really, it's all right. <laughs> I continued to moving the ladder as I kept reorganizing the books. Oh God! Jeez, these books are so heavy. What is this? An, an encyclopedia? I flipped open the book. Wait! Ah, Kaede, is this really the time to be reading a book? <laughs> so I got distracted. I get distracted easily when I'm organizing things. After I made that excuse, I rushed to reorganize the heavy books, but... Um... Looks like there are too many books after all. You can't really make space, can you? It'd be easier if I could move them to the ground, but that would look suspicious. Right. Yeah, we have to minimize any risk of the mastermind noticing the cameras. I guess it would be better to put the camera between the books, like you suggested. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you look oddly happy. Fuck off. Uh, um... No, I don't. You fuck off. Uh, if we put them on top of the bookcase, the angle wouldn't quite reach. Aww. And here I thought it'd be a good idea. Is that all right? So, how about the places to put the cameras? Hmm. I decided to place the security sensor on top of the moving bookcase. And the camera linked to it will be set up right here. That way, it will capture the moment the mastermind moves the bookcase. We're gonna place the other two cameras near the exit and entrance, right? I suppose so. I think here and this bookcase is good. They wouldn't have to pass by here no matter which door they used. They would have to pass by here no matter which Yeah, sounds good. Then mm -hmm. also the camera that's connected to the security sensor. Now set it carefully so the camera has a clear shot when the mastermind moves the bookcase. And then. Let me take care of the security sensor on top of the bookcase. And we'll set the cameras near each door. Hey. Oh, I almost forgot. I brought duct tape from the warehouse. You can use this. Yeah. Thanks. With that, we got to work. I meticulously placed the cameras in the gaps of the bookshelves. You need to set up the camera carefully so that it's aimed at the moving bookcase. I better use a lot of duct tape so the camera won't fall out of position. These cameras are important, so I gotta do it right. Yeah. Alright, that should do okay. it. I'm finished too. Hmm. Now, no matter what entrance they use, the mastermind will be caught on camera. And if they move the bookcase in front of the hidden door, our sensor will detect that and signal this receiver. Mm -hmm. And at that moment, the camera attacks to the sensor will snap the critical picture. Hmm. Yeah, this should do it. No doubt about it. This plan will probably work. No doubt no, about no. it. Not just probably. It'll definitely work. Why'd you put definitely in quotes? 
All right then, the final step. Turn the sensors on. Oh, right, we could turn them on before we leave. Right. Yeah. There's a 10 second delay as it starts up, so we have to leave quickly. Yeah. Got it. It'd be a ways to film if it took our pictures. After setting our trap and powering on the cameras attached to the sensor, we quickly exited the library. We didn't stand in the hallway for like 10 hours wondering what to do. And now, now we got caught by the mastermind because we didn't think to leave the hallway. Yeah, now we wait for the mastermind to kill themselves. Okay. There's still some time left. Do you want to go see anybody? No. No, I'd rather focus on the plan. Besides, I'm sure everyone else is safe. <laughs> Plus, we won't get once we get out of here, I'll have all the time in the world to see them. Right. That's true. Well, let's go to the classroom. <laughs> in my classroom, I mean library. We did what we could. Let's go to the classroom. Aw, oh, man. You want, you want to play some billiards? <laughs> I gotta focus on this one. I need to go to the classroom to keep a lookout. Fuck. God damn it. Uh, whatever. We'll have fun times after today, because we will leave. That's a really boring game, you know? No no class trial or anything. They, they were really building it up. Yeah. Who, uh, it's crazy, right? Okay, <laughs> it's already pretty dark out. Dot, dot, dot. Upon entering the classroom, a wave of anxiety suddenly overwhelmed me. My heart felt like it would beat out of my chest at any moment. Then, Let's keep the door open a little so we can see anyone going into the basement. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, uh, Kaede, about the security sensor receiver. Hey. Could you hold on to it, please? I just feel like you'd be better suited for that than me. Uh, there's a power switch on it. Make sure you don't turn it off by accident. No, you hold on to it, Suichi. You're the one who came up with this plan, and I trust you. Also, Suichi, you said I'm better than you at something. Why do you keep say things like that anyway? Huh? What? You know? I guess it's good that we have some time left because I want to talk to you about that. Uh, um... Talk to me? <laughs> Whatever, I'll just talk. Yeah, let's keep going. 17. You know? It's probably none of my business, but I think it should be more confident. Right? That's why you sense the ultimate initiative selecting you as the ultimate detective. No. No, really. I shouldn't be the ultimate detective. I'm not even a real detective. Huh? What do you mean? I'm... I didn't even really want to be a detective. My uncle runs a detective business. I would sometimes help out as an apprentice. It was usually just cheating couples, background checks. But... But one day I came across a murder case completely by chance. I solved it before the police did. They called me the boy detective. That's why I got scouted by the ultimate initiative, though I only solved one case. Huh? Even so, it's so amazing that you solved a murder case. Most people can't do that. No. I wonder. I wonder if... Ah, uh, it was a really good thing I solved that case. The look on his face when we caught him. I can still see it even now. He stared at me. Like he hated me more than anything else in the world. Later, With very poorly drawn eyes. Yeah. He murdered the victim to get revenge for his family. The victim was abusive. They drove the culprit's relative to suicide. People told me the culprit was right to do what he did. The victim deserved it, but I led the police right to him. Of course he hated me. And his name was Rantaro. Yeah. I... That's not true. Now I'm... I think he might be a killer. It's not like you took sides. You uncovered the truth. That's what detectives do, right? You're right. Yeah, I uncovered the truth. Which makes it my fault, and I'm still suffering the consequences. I'm... Ever since that one stupid case, I've been so afraid of uncovering the truth. I'll never forget those eyes. The hatred. The way they stared into me. Uh, um... Ugh, anyway. That's why I have trouble looking people in the eyes sometimes. Yeah, so that's why he wears that hat. I thought his brain was exposed underneath it. <laughs> I'm not a real detective, Coyote. What kind of stupid detective is afraid of finding the truth? Right then. I know Suiki's hands were trembling. I gently reached out and held his hand. Coyote. I wish there was a piano here. I would play you a song to help you cheer up. Hmm, a pretty song to play for you. Oh, like Claire de Lune by Debussy. It's a soothing song that calms your heart. 
like the moon's reflection on water. You noticed, huh? Yeah. I'm shaking too, but I'd be a mess if you weren't here. I wouldn't have been able to do anything. I would have been so lost. I'm glad you're here with me, Shuichi. With you by my side, I feel like I can stand up to anything. You give me the courage I need to take on the mastermind. So please, be more confident. I believe in you, so you should definitely believe in yourself. Okay, I'll try. I don't know if I can, but I'll try. Yep, that's a promise. I'm just letting go of his hand. I quickly changed the subject. Yeah, that's right. Also, I think you would look way cooler if you didn't wear that hat. Huh? What are you talking about? Huh? What? I'm serious here. Once we're out of here, I want you to show me what you look like without the hat, okay? Aww. Jeez, I just want to see everyone smile. You know? I love the, seeing the expressions people make when they're enjoying themselves. That's why I play the piano, to see the smiles on everyone's faces. Mm -hmm. And that's why we need to expose the mastermind and end this dumb killing game. Right? So we can smile with everyone else. Sure. Ep after a serious talk, we talked about this and that to kill some time. We did all we could and prepared for whatever happened next. I was nervous, of course, but all we could do was wait for the moment to arrive. As the time limit drew closer and closer, and then suddenly, the moment arrived. What is this weird music? Is it coming from that monitor? Could it be? Maybe it's just a warning that we need to start killing. The time limit is almost up. Uh, they, they need to stop screwing with us. What kind of stuff do they want from us? Uh. Wait, Kaede. I hear people talking in the hallway. Huh? P people talking? I focus my attention on the hallway. I hear a group of boys and girls talking. I tried my best to listen while I peered through the gap of the classroom door. I saw seven boys and girls head down the stairs. Kaito, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Angie, Himiko, and Rantaro, too? The seven continued to walk down the stairs. Why? What's a pre- What's a big group like that planning to do? Martaro was with them, too. Didn't you say he would end this game? Mm. It's almost nighttime, right? If they're all heading to the basement right now... Could... Could the Mastermind be with them, too? Kaede, Gunta, Maki, Tenko, Anki, Himiko, and Rantaro. One of them is the Mastermind? No. It is unusual for such a big group to all go to the basement. No. They're not planning on going to the library, are they? That would be bad. They'll scare off the mastermind from using the bookcase and ruin the plan. Huh? What? All right. I'm going to check out the basement. Uh, I'll come with you. No. no, you stay and keep watch, Kaede. With that, so we keep dashed out of the classroom. Why am I all alone now? <laughs> Why did I lose control here? I realized I was alone. All the fear and anxiety I was trying to hide rushed back into me. Jeez. I couldn't keep still, so I grabbed the broom from the corner of the classroom. I started cleaning for no reason at all. I had to move my body. The anxiety was gaining to me. This music is fucking me up. What? This music. Not yet. Sweet Keep, please come back already. Don't be dead. Being first one out sucks. I continued to distract myself with clean until Sweet Keep finally came back. Hey, hey, why are you sweeping? Huh? Uh, oh, no reason. Anyway, what about the people down in the basement? Okay. Everything's okay. They all went to the game room. The game room? Why there? Ding, dong, dong, ding! <laughs> in one hour, everyone dies! Okay. Yeah. There's only one hour until the time limit. Uh, yeah, it's almost time. It's true. I'm sure that the Mastermind will make their move soon. If Monokuma is going to show up 
when time runs out, the mastermind will go to the library. Then it happened so suddenly. My heart nearly looked out of my chest as the receiver in Suiki's hand suddenly went off. Suiki, the receiver! Someone. Someone with the bookcase. Hurry, Kaede! So we keep sprinting out of the classroom with the determination of a true ultimate detective. Wait, wait for me! Please! Wait. I dropped everything I was holding and ran out of sweet key. I could feel my heart beating faster and faster. I was so nervous, my head felt like it was pounding with every heartbeat. Alright. Okay, let's... Yeah. Go inside. Let's go inside. Yeah. Yeah. Brace myself to confront the mastermind. I had balled my hands into fists without realizing it. It'll be fine. Everything will work out. I was still convincing myself when I caught up with Suiki, who had his hand on the door. Huh? What are you? Huh? What are you guys doing here? Got it. Oh no, we're not. Your time's over. You should join our strategy meeting. Kaede is definitely welcome to join. Strategy meeting. Yeah. When the time limit hits, we're gonna fight Monokuma. We got a plan for that battle. We thought it'd be harder for Monokuma to get to the basement, so we're going to the game room. Hey. Uh, ho hold on, both of you. Come with us. The mastermind is in the library. Huh? Mastermind? Okay. We'll explain later, but right now you need to come with us. We might really be able to end this killing game. Are you serious? Sneak attack! I, I don't really understand, but you just need uh, me to th a keto throw who's ever inside, right? right? No, I'll do it. I'll be the one to take them down. Oh, Is this a competition? I'm going to open the door right now, okay? I was kind of hoping that the gaming controls would just fuck around for a bit. <laughs> With the unveiling of the mastermind so close at hand, all my exam anxiety had disappeared. I stepped inside the library, and it was dead. The bookcase. As I walked in, I noticed the moving bookcase at the end of the room was slowly closing. But there was no sign of the mastermind. The moving bookcase had closed on its own without any outside help. Hmm. Where is the mastermind? We clearly walked through the moving bookcase. And then, not too far from the moving bookcase, we saw... Oh, that, yep, yep, there it is. <laughs> oh, Darren, he blocked the camera. Grantaro, what the fuck? <laughs> How the fuck dare you? Grantaro, uh, not a mommy, who had yet to reveal his ultimate talent to the rest of all of us. Also, he was kind of an asshole. Lay dead on the ground. Wait a second. I just remembered my talent. I'm the ultimate first one dead in killing games. <laughs> How did Shit. You get that? How did you get that talent? I don't know. It just came naturally, I suppose. Alright. Woo! My there class it is. Trial, our class trial. Deadly life. Deadly life. There it is. Uh huh. So right. Yep. So your call, your uh, call on it was right. Yeah, I, was, I, I was feeling squeaky for a long time, but it was him or Rantaro. What in the world? What, what the, the hell is going on? Also, one of my stupid theories about why this happened was because in the demo he was in the class trial. Yeah. <laughs> so he didn't have any class trial animations. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that sums it up. Right after Tenko screamed, the front door of the library burst open, and the four people who were in the game room rushed in. What happened? Don't I hear scream? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's blood. So much blood. Oh me, oh my. Isn't that Rantaro? What's wrong with him? You don't know. He's dead. He's trying to give you a really big offering for uh, Atua. <laughs> what? He's dead? Well, that's unfortunate. How can you be so calm? So we can examine Rantaro's body and place his hand close to his mouth to check for breathing. It's no use. Yep, this guy's dead. <laughs> this bitch is dead. <laughs> We're too late. He shook his head. No way. Too late? He, you mean dead? Are you serious? He's dead? 
He's dead? <laughs> my vision began to swirl. My legs wobbled beneath me. But out of sheer desperation, I kept my mind working. Why was Rantaro here? And? I can't think of anything. The monitor is off. It was no longer displaying Monokuma anymore. Does this mean the mastermind is dead? <laughs> yeah, that has to be. This means Rantaro was... This means the killing kill game has started, huh? Huh? W what? Killing game? Then someone killed Rantaro and... <laughs> Wait, maybe not. What do you mean, maybe not? Um... Maybe the killing game hasn't started. Maybe this kiss ended it. What? Ended it? What do you mean? Because... The mastermind. Rantaro was the mastermind? What? The mastermind? <laughs> I don't know how he died, but if Rantaro was in the library before the time limit ended... That's true. There's a high chance that the Mastermind planned this, and if he's dead... Huh? What? Oh, look at those shrimp. body has been discovered! Everyone, please gather in the library! <laughs> you think so? <laughs> a friendly refute. Not a hostile <laughs> <Yeah>. refute. <laughs> I'm on, come on. Oh, I'm glad. <laughs> what a relief! A murder took place just before time ran out. Huh? Monokuma, but how? I got to admit, I was a little nervous there because the killing game hadn't started yet. Geez, you guys really know how to keep me in suspense. How? The mastermind controlling you is. Hmm? By mastermind, do you mean the real mastermind who's controlling me? And do you think it was Rantaro? Ah, what an imagination. Of course that's wrong. <laughs> if the mastermind had died, the killing game would be over. That's wrong. B but the victim was Rantaro Amami, the ultimate who cares. Nothing more, nothing less. Huh? What are you talking about? Shuichi. Oh. Shuichi, what does he mean? What's going to happen? No. He... Monokuma is wrong, isn't he? Isn't Rantaro the mastermind? Huh? Yeah, we came here as soon as the sensor went off, right? No one else was in the library. Rantaro was the only one who could have moved the bookshelf. Would that mean he was trying to use that hidden door and that he was the mastermind? No. But if he was the mastermind, why isn't the killing game over? Uh, um... Why? Why is he dead? It's no use. Right? <laughs> it's no good. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, is this uh, Ah, the pictures. We can check the pictures. I'm sure that the cameras we can set up in the library will give us a clue. At that moment, the library door swung wide open. Ah. Uh, oh, no. Rantaro? But why? Really? Ah. Uh, that's Rantaro? Oh, thank God. I thought it was a pile of dirty rags. <laughs> I see. So this ended up happening after all. <laughs> my, my. What a world this is. So full of jokes like this. How? Well, what? This is a lie, right? My dearest Rantaro is dead. Oh, I mean... <laughs> was killed? Stop it. That's the same thing, dude. How ironic. The guy who wanted to lie wanted to live ended up dead, and the guy who wanted to die survived. Either way. So can somebody explain the meaning of this? Nah, an explanation isn't necessary. Thanks to the first blood perk, there won't be a class trial, so that'd just be a waste of time. Go ahead. With that said, you're the blackened who killed Rantaro. Raise your hand! The one who killed Rantaro? Degenerate male! I knew it! A degenerate male killed Rantaro, didn't he? Wait! Uh, how you know boy do it? I won't forgive you! I just know, okay? Violent crimes are almost always committed by violent, disgusting men. Damn. That dumbass! How dare he go and get himself killed? Oh, what, a, what an idiot! Who the hell did it? I'll frickin', I'll frickin' punk you into orbit! <laughs> Don't get so angry! Send off your graduating classmates with classmate with warm farewells. Rising shiner, sign. 
<laughs> it's getting interesting. I'll send them off with hostility like a bunch of candy popular girls. That's fine too. It's my time to shine. But if it's gonna disrupt the process, then we're all gonna bust out the exosols. So oh, I'm not gonna look. I don't wanna look at a nasty dead body. <laughs> Nothing beats a crash at a funeral. It's way better than wedding crashing. <laughs> I'll throw in a wedding every now and then, but funerals are insane, like fishing with dynamite. So, so whoever did this really gets to graduate, huh? Yeah. Heck yeah, I'm a real stickler for the rules. I'm also tough on convenience store clerks. My heart's racing. Then congratulations. Who's the black, who would be the black and who's about to graduate? Please raise their hand. Um, May girl kind of has her hand kind of up. Did we do the suicide already? Yeah. What the? No one's raising the hand? You bastards! Hey, did you hear me? All the blacken has to do is graduate to do is graduate to speak up, you know? Hmm. No one's stepping forward? What's going on? <laughs> I see how it is. The Blackened has no need for the first blood perk. They would rather do a class trial. Excuse me? Oh. Very well then. Psycho. I will give the Blackened what they want and hold a class trial. Oh. Wow. It's getting interesting. <laughs> now that's a spicy twist. Hold on. Wait, wait, what the heck's going on? Got it. Like we said before, we're gonna hold a class trial so you bastards can find Rantaro's kill us. Get it right, and only the blackened will be punished. But if you get it wrong... <laughs> Simultaneous surgery, brain and knee. Then brain surgery again. My heart's racing. Everyone besides the blackened will be punished. Everyone besides the blackened? Everyone? The cell phone is much worse. The culprit should have just stepped forward. Thrills, chills, but before we can hold the class trial, you gotta investigate first. If you don't investigate the murder, you won't be able to argue over who done did it. Jeez. So you're saying we need to do the investigation ourselves, too? Mm -hmm. Of course! The investigation of what makes the killing game so good! You guys are gonna investigate this crime and uncover the truth! <laughs> the Blacken's handiwork has made this much more entertaining than I expected. All right, the trial will begin soon, so please get the investigation your all. She's still growing. Yeah. No, not a sub animals. Oh, there we go. All right. Let's get going then. Wait. Wait. wait where do we start? Did you get it? We're looking for the truth of Rantaro's death, right? If we can't figure out who the culprit is, then we'll all be annihilated for sure. Huh? Uh, I don't want to be annihilated. The girl should be allowed to live at least. <laughs> I'm just a cute, normal girl who can use magic, you know? Why you? You're the last one who should be calling herself cute. Yeah. Do not fret. Just imagine this is something out of a police drama or detective manga. Do you agree? Right, Suichi? Okay. R right. Impossible. Mm. I'm in trouble. I've never watched police dramas or read detective manga. Let's see. Well, there's no need to think so hard. We need only converse with the corpse. Hey, who killed you? <laughs> a corpse is not simply a dead person. That is just an assumption made by the living. Wonderful. Yes, by coming face to face with the corpse, you will learn a great many things. Why are you getting excited? You're not into dead bodies, are you? Actually... But is it true? Is one of us really the culprit? The odds are 1 in 15. That shouldn't be hard to figure out. Don't screw around. That's not the problem here. On your knees. Who's the fucking culprit, huh? Is it you? Or maybe it's you. Uh... Or maybe it's me. <laughs> Is it me? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Who's the killer? Only Atu knows. Weird. You know can choose that way. How exciting. Ahaha. Ah, Everyone's competing to see who's the most paranoid. Yeah, that's not boring. That's wrong. Wait, wait, stop. We can't do this. We gotta go. We can't go back and forth accusing each other. Uh, um. For now, we need to trust each other and start a serious investigation. We're way over time. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Uh? Hey. If we all lose our trust in one another because of this, it's all over. We have to believe in each other and investigate this case. Huh? 
Investigating is the same thing as not trusting each no. other. No, it's completely different from what Monokuma wants us to do. He wants us to throw accusations at one another and lose all trust in each other. But... And we can't let him get what he wants. We need to investigate this murder. Not because we don't trust each other, but because we do. Dot, dot, dot. Hmm. Uh, did I say something wrong? <laughs> you were just so direct and assertive. Uh, um... uh, no, I just said what was on my mind. Yeah. You really are a detective. Now that we... Now that we need to reinvestigate, you're becoming super reliable. Right. I agree with Suiki. Actually, he just said exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> Males are degenerate creatures who betray others easily, but I'll trust you this time. The only good thing about males is that girls give birth to them. <laughs> <laughs> Gonta, not smart. Say the whole thing, Pat. <laughs> not sure Gonta be much help. I will work hard for our tool's guidance. I'm much happier alive than dead anyway. That's right. As novice investigators, logic dictates that we all work together than give in to paranoia, ya? Yeah? If, if this is what everyone desires, then I shall give this task my okay. all. You can leave it to me. I'll find the culprit in no time. Phew, I'm glad. No one's given up yet. Yeah, of course they haven't. We can't change what has already happened. All I can do is what must be done. Otherwise, Rantaro died for nothing. Look how happy everyone is, and then there's just Rantaro's dead body in the background. Oh, uh, Himiko doesn't seem that happy. I have Himiko to... is never happy. Yeah, I know. I have to do it. I won't give up. We'll all escape from here. I'm sure of it. Except for Rantaro. <laughs> and no, he's not. He's gonna die. He's dead. Yeah. Well then. So let's get started, yeah? We need to do this so poor Rantaro won't have any regrets. And so we can survive. Okay. Yes, let's find the culprit who killed Rantaro. Yeah. You're right. Let's do it. Thank you, Suiki. So much has happened in such a short time, and I haven't been able to keep up with everything. <laughs> but I know that I need to fight back against this class trial to protect everyone. Uh, oh, yeah, mm -hmm. not yet. Then we file. Hmm. This isn't quite the mood I was expecting, but oh, it's okay. At least now you guys seem like you're getting into it. <laughs> you again? The fuck are you doing here? Don't be so crude. I've come to bring you all a wonderful present. <laughs> this, this is giving me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> I love her face. Yeah. A notebook that will kill anyone whose name is written in it. Yeah. Could it be the death? <laughs> the, I don't like how you started that last word with the letter N, so I'm going to cut you off there. It's the Monokuma file. You did that on purpose, didn't you? That's a Cortana reference. The Monokuma file is a detailed report that summarizes all the info about the dead body. But there's no info that would point to the blacken, because that would ruin the trials. I don't know, maybe you guys will find it useful since you're not experienced investigators, you know? What, what the fuck? Monokuma, what the fuck? <laughs> don't screw around. Monokuma file? Like, how am I gonna believe something he made? Whether you believe it or not, it would still be prudent to examine its contents. No? Atua has spoken. Atua has spoken. He says we shouldn't take our eyes off the monopad. Yeah, I think we should read it. The file has all the info about the victim. I wonder what it says. The victim is Rantaro Amami. It doesn't say what his ultimate talent is. The victim's body was discovered in the library. The estimated time of death is 9, 10 p.m. So one more minute. <laughs> the victim was subjected to blunt force trauma to the back of the skull, resulted in cranial fractions and immediate death. No other injuries were detected. Monokuma File 1 has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopad. It doesn't say whether or not he's the mastermind. Well, that's obvious. <laughs> but the killing game is still going on, so I'm gonna assume he wasn't, right? But if Artaro wasn't the mastermind, then who is? Actually, I know it's a little late, but seeing this makes it real. Rantaro is really dead. Right. This is the mastermind's fault. No doubt about the mastermind it. killed Rantaro. 
Mastermind. I'm sorry, but what are we talking about? Kaede, please explain what is going on and spare us no detail. Yeah, I will. Eventually. Suiki and I explained to everyone. We told them about the possibility of the Mastermind hiding among us. And about the trap we had set in the library to lure them out. And that someone got snagged in our trap so we came to the library to check. And discovered Rantaro's body. Understood. I see. So this is what happened. I was not aware you two had planned such a thing. <laughs> so you use those cameras are modified for this bullshit? No. <laughs> but why would you keep someone so important a seeker from us? Once we knew which one of us was the mastermind, we'd start fighting over who it was. That's what you two were afraid of, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah that's right. But... but if there are cameras, won't this case be solved really easily? Aw oh, man, that's so boring. I'm gonna break the cameras for fun. Wait! <laughs> Your amusement is the least of our concerns. We need to check the cameras right now. Culprit should be in the pictures. It'll be case closed. Then... Alright, let me go get the cameras. Shuichi quickly retrieved all three cameras and rushed back to everyone. Is that alright? Okay, I've got them. Well. It was hard moving the camera that Kaede set up. She really taped it down well. Because... Well, I really didn't want the camera to fall since it was aimed at the movie bookcase. Remember. Here, it's these three cameras. Uh, um... Now we just have to develop the film. Allow me to perform the task. That's amazing! Wow, is there anything the ultimate maid can't do? Tentacle porn. Again. <laughs> leave it to me! I heard everything you said. If that's what you need, just leave it to me! Huh? I'll do it! I'll develop the photo so you bastards can focus on the investigation. Because if you guys get punished, it would be way too gory. Hey, don't put it into our... But she ignored my objection, walked up to Suiki, and took the cameras from him. I'm a strong, sensual woman. Do not underestimate me. Hey, give those back. No need to worry. We'll have... We'll all have to follow the rules. We won't do anything underhanded or devious. So I'll let you know when I'm finished developing the photos. Wait, get the cameras back! As far as y'all at her, Mono Fanny left as swiftly as, as the wind. Aw, there she goes. No, that was important evidence! I I'm sorry, I was being careless. Um... It's probably okay. She says she developed photos, then give photos back. That's right. <laughs> and she said she had to follow the rules, so I don't think she'll destroy the evidence, yeah? Sheesh. Looks like we've got no choice but to believe that. Is watching over us. It's important to believe. Hatu only shows mercy to those who believe. Uh, <coughs> Kaede, I know you're worried, but you can trust me. We just have to be patient. No. That's not all I'm worried about. I thought this whole thing would be over once we exposed the mastermind. But now we're just in a bigger mess. A mess we have to see through to the end. Hey. Uh, Kaede, I have a proposal for you. Uh, yeah, I'll marry you. Is it alright with you? Could we keep working together during the trial, like we're doing now? Huh? Suichi? I'm... I know I'm just an apprentice, but I think I can help you, as a detective. No, I... I want to help you. Shuichi? Of course. With you on my side, it'll be like having a hundred man... hundred people helping me. Thank you. Thank you, Kaede. Um... Hey, so... I don't care about this mushy stuff, so let's just get started already. And try to take this seriously, okay? Our lives are on the line. Actually, it takes a lot of mental power to say something that's so cheerfully. What do you think? Before we start, I'd like to suggest that we not investigate by ourselves. Why? Huh? If we let the culprit work by themselves, they might try and destroy evidence, right? Oh, you're right. Since the culprit is one of us... If... Each of us watches the other. No one will be able to hide any evidence. Oh, okay. it's a lag for a moment. No. I do not intend to offer a suggestion that would further arouse, arouse its suspicion, but no, that's illogical. That's logical. Please speak on my Karumi. That's right. It's not something you should be proud to say, but I guess we don't have a choice. 
After all, if we don't find out who the culprit is, we'll all be killed. Yeah, we have to do it. Once we expose the mastermind, we'll be able to escape. We can definitely do it. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, that went a lot right. longer. 50, 50 minutes. Yeah. I totally like two. If we fucking did on one. Mm. But yeah. Alright, so just as a heads up for the next one, we will be doing the entire investigation in one episode. Yep. Because we don't really want to have a cut point, but this is a decent cut point. Yep. So next time we'll do that, and then we'll do the class trial in two parts. So yep. you know. Look forward to whenever the fuck those come up. Yeah, and if you want to see it, whoa, there it is, right on screen, right there. Click it, unless you know, like you're watching this before we uploaded the next one. Then, like, I, it's I, not there. I but, can't click it. But hey, two two playlists. You're clicking the playlist button right now, Steve. Go over to the left more. Over to the, uh, like down middle middle on the left side. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty oh, much right yeah. there. Yeah. Oh, it's the maid? Yeah, yeah, she's the link to the next video, so cl click that to go to the next video if it's there. And like the video, if you like this video enough, Rantaro will come back to life. So, get on that. <laughs>